Well, it doesn't necessarily in most cases mean you are going to be indicted, but I think that it's fair to say that Jack Smith sent the letter to let uh, Donald Trump know he was going to be indicted. It was an invitation for him to appear within the next three days now uh, before the grand jury to try to testify and explain uh, the information and the evidence that Jack has in regards to the offenses that he enumerated in that letter. He enumerated three uh, specific charges. One of them was 18 U.S.C. 371, which is a general conspiracy to defraud the United States. One was a um, wire fraud, possible wire fraud charge, that is for taking contributions and not spending it on what he says it's going to, he's going to spend it on. And the last one was, was generally, as it was enumerated, appears to be a witness tampering, but I'm not sure it's the kind of witness tampering that we've been talking about. We're still trying to figure out exactly where he's going with that particular statute. So that's what he's looking at, but that doesn't mean that's all he's looking at. It means that there is an indictment coming, I would say, within the next 10 days or so, and that does not mean the investigation will stop or that there won't be a superseding indictment with more charges in it as people are basically brought forward and, and agree to testify before the grand jury. And there's a number of those people out there.